Hello nice people, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button if you're new and for the returning subscribers, I love you so much. Days have passed, Kenyans, authorities, family members, protesters have been following keenly on Jeff Mathi and DJ Fatso case, hoping for justice to take place. But it seems this might end badly for some of the people as the insider reports are getting to us right now says otherwise. Just before I finish that statement, the other day DCI posted on their page showing that they were done with investigating Jeff Mathi case to determine whether his life was taken away by the three alleged suspects or he ended it himself. Many questions have been raised after the file was sent to DPP. Will Jeff Mathi and the family get the justice they deserve or the closure? Till today, the DPP has said nothing, but insider reports that have started are coming out has been able to shock most of the Kenyans like this one that I am going to read for you guys, whereby it seems that DJ Fatso might be declared innocent and together with the three suspects, they might be able to walk free. According to this new site, and that is kenyans.co.ke, they went on to post this and I'll quote. Insider reports say that police found no direct evidence tying DJ Fatso or the Z men in the house to Jeff Mathis' death. That is what they had to write showing that maybe coming few days the DPP are going to announce that DJ Fatso is innocent and all the evidences that was collected does not show that indeed DJ Fatso or the men that were in the house were involved in Jeff Mathis' death. And also apart from Kenyans.co.ke posting just the other day we saw citizens saying that according to them also and according to the insider report that they have been able to get is that DJ Fatso could be able to walk freely out there together with the Z men as to the insider reports say that there is no tying evidence that DJ Fatso and the men were involved in Jeff Mathis death. Guys, let us know your thoughts about that and even getting to Simon Mangim Thera, the blogger who sent uh, this story online to people's knowledge. This is what he had to write after uh, the, the DCI said that they have been able to forward the file to the DPP. And I'll quote, Ile Sikunita post Mpesa reversal, please unfollow me. In the meantime, relax. It's a fight to the grave. It's either I join my son to the grave or it's a fight to the grave. Alafu, sell fear to the right people. Jeff was taken out by people he trusted. It's bound to happen again. As a parent, I know what I need to do. Hashtag Jeff deserves justice, but he won't get it. Jeff's justice is so costly, very costly. Guys, I want you to note this part whereby as Simon Mangim Thera went on to say, hashtag Jeff deserves justice, but he won't get it. And remember guys, this is the blogger that went on uh, to expose this story uh, to the limelight where people, most of the poor got to know about uh, Jeff Mathis case. And according to him, Jeff will not be able to get the justice that he deserved or what people have been fighting for out there. Meaning, DJ Fatso is innocent according to the, these insider reports. This might be a very hard thing to process, especially for Jeff Mathis, a family, some of the Kenyans and even protesters who are fighting out there on the streets for Jeff Mathi uh, justice. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section because, you know, after all this investigation that have been able to take uh, days and even we can say months uh, for Jeff Mathi to be able to get the justice or foreclosure of this case to show if indeed the DJ was involved and even the other two alleged suspects were involved in this case and according to the insider reports that have shown and even according to the blogger who brought up this story online is that they don't think that Jeff Murphy is going to get the justice that many people thought that he is going to take so is DJ Fatso guilty or not? We are yet to know guys. Remember these are not official reports from the DCI office as we are waiting for the official announcement. Just these are just uh, but insider reports that is are uh, from people inside uh, that have been able to expose or give a glimpse of how the case will be going on and even the blogger himself say that he doesn't think Jeff will get the justice that he deserves. But guys, with all this, let us know your thoughts as we are waiting for the official statement from DCI. 
And that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on these insider reports. After we've been able to get a glimpse of what probably the DCI were, will be going to say, you know, after the case was forwarded to DPP. Let us know what you think about all that in the comment section. If you're new or you have never subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to always get notified every time we post. Till next time, bye-bye.